It's time, it's time, it's time for Ask Adam. Hello, hello, hello. My name is Adam and I love questions. I love asking questions. I love answering questions. I love everything about questions. Today's question comes from Louisa all the way in Paris, France. Paris is a city in France and France is a country in Europe. And Europe is one of the seven continents of the world. Paris has lots of famous landmarks. One of the most famous landmarks in Paris is the Eiffel Tower. The Eiffel Tower is super tall and weighs over 10,000 tons, which is super heavy. Now, back to Louisa's question. Louisa asks, how do you make slime? Ooh, slime is so cool and feels so strange on your fingers. Slime can come in lots of different colors and lots of different textures. Have you ever made slime? Well, I'm super excited to learn how, and I think the best way to learn to do something is by doing it. So let's make some slime. Now, to transport us to the science lab, I need to put on one of my magic adventure items. Which of my magic adventure items should I wear to transport us to the science lab and give me the knowledge to answer Luisa's question? My raincoat? My captain's hat? Or my science goggles? My science goggles, very good. Now, to transport us to the science lab, we have to say the magical phrase cuckoo bananas three times. Say it with me. Cuckoo bananas, cuckoo bananas, cuckoo bananas. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, you did it! We made it! And welcome to our science lab. With my magic safety goggles on, I can tell you all about slime. Now, the very first thing you need to know is that you must have an adult with you. Science is fun, but it can also be dangerous, so it's important to always have an adult around. Now, the first thing we need to do is pick which color we're gonna make our slime. In this bowl, I have put all the different colors that I can think of, and whichever color I pull out will be the color of our slime. Let's see what color we get. Our slime is going to be, drum roll please, orange. Ooh, I love orange. It's one of my all time favorite colors. What's your favorite color? That's a good one. Well, when you make slime at home, you can make it that color. Great, I'm gonna grab my ingredients and then we'll be ready to go. I'll be right back. Now, the first thing we're gonna do is add our glue. We're gonna use an entire bottle of Elmer's glue. Glue is going to be used as our base. Next, we're gonna turn our slime orange. Uh-oh, we only have blue, yellow, red, and green food dye. We do not have orange. Do you know which two colors I could mix together to make orange? Red and yellow, very good. Red and yellow are primary colors, and when you mix them together, they make orange which is a secondary color. Watch. A few drops of red, a few drops of yellow. Nice, now let's mix it up. Now that our slime is orange, we can create our activator. To make our activator, we're gonna use one cup of warm water and half of a teaspoon of borax. Now that we have our glue in one bowl and our activator in another, we're gonna mix them together to make our slime. But how does mixing these two ingredients together make slime? Well, that's where science gets involved. Right now, our glue is a liquid and the water and borax, our activator, is also a liquid. But when you mix them together, a chemical reaction happens. 
When we mix together our activator and our glue, the ingredients start to get thicker and thicker until they're no longer liquids anymore. But they're also not solids. What? Wait, Adam. If they're not a liquid and they're not a solid, what are they? Well, when we mix these ingredients together, they become a part of a very special group of things called non-Newton liquids, which means they don't act like a liquid and they don't act like a solid. They're their very own thing, which is cuckoo bananas. Now that we know what's going to happen, let's do it. We are going to add our activator just a little bit at a time into our bowl of glue and stir it together with our spatula. All right, it looks like our slime is finally ready. Let's see. Ooh. Ooh, it's all stretchy and sticky and a really pretty orange color. <laughs> it makes fun noises too. Well, it looks like we did it. We answered Luis's question, how do you make slime? And got a fun homemade toy as well. In order to take us back home, we had to say the magical phrase, cuckoo bananas three times. Can you say it with me? Cuckoo bananas, cuckoo bananas, cuckoo bananas! Whoa! We did it! We answered Luis's question, how do you make slime? To recap, we learned that you can make orange slime by mixing two colors together. Do you remember what they are? Red and yellow. Very good. We also learned that you can make slime with only four ingredients. Food coloring, water, borax, and do you remember the fourth ingredient? Glue, nice. Lastly, we learned that slime is not a liquid and it's not a solid, and it's actually a non-Newton liquid. <laughs> what an amazing day filled with creating and questions. Thank you for joining me, and I look forward to our next adventure real soon. Bye bye for now. Oh, you're still here. Well, since I still have your attention, I'd love for you to click the subscribe button down below. Also, use the links in the description to follow us on social media. And lastly, go to askadam.tv to submit your question and maybe we'll answer it on a future episode. Thanks so much. Bye-bye for now.